Hey everybody, Coldon here with another Vox Mortalis commentary guide. This video is for Normal Hagara, the Stormbringer, and this is 10 man. So we're using one tank and two healers for this fight, and it's really split into three various phases. So the first, our normal phase, is what we're in here, and this is just facing Hagara with a few abilities. So the most important is Focused Assault, and she channels this um, every once in a while, causing her to do very heavy damage to the tank for the duration. So you can use two tanks if you want, and just have the other tank taunt when that starts, or is halfway through, I should say. Or, you, if you don't want to use two tanks, but you're having trouble healing it, you can have a non-tank taunt when she starts casting it from far away, uh, out of melee range, like a Death Knight would be great. And then have the main tank taunt her back, um before it reaches the Death Knight, or whoever it is. So that'd be one way to deal with it. and Or you can just cool down and heal through it. Anyway, after a while, she'll go into one of her other phases. So in this case, we're getting the Frozen Tempest phase. And you can see here, she spawns this big bubble in the middle. And if you stand in there, you die really quickly. So don't do that. Then she'll shoot out these ice spikes. And these are very deadly, which you can see by my stupid corpse on the ground. So don't let those hit you. Um, they start to move around clockwise around the platform. And so essentially you want to have your raid split up. Um, so we split up into two even groups of five and go on marked opposite ends of the room. And then there's four crystals that will spawn and forming a square on the outside of the room. So as soon as you get out, start attacking the nearest crystal. And as soon as you kill all four, the phase will end. And so it's, by splitting off into even groups of five, we decided it would be faster to do that. There's also some icicle patches that will spawn on the ground you might have seen. And if you get hit by those, they do heavy damage and they'll snare you while you're in it. So it's similar to gauntlets in some of the uh, ICC five-man zones if you've done those. Um, so just dodge those as you're moving clockwise, staying in front of the wall of ice. So then we go back to the normal phase for a bit. And now we have a new ability in the normal phase called Ice Tomb. So you can see it's cast and hits two people there. And these are just like tombs you've seen in many other places, uh, except you don't need to line of sight anything, at least on normal, I imagine. Um, but you want to kill them quickly because you can't heal the person inside the tomb. So make sure your DPS focus those down. The last mechanic in the normal phase here is these ice beams that you see. Basically, the person closest to the, the path of the beam will be targeted by it, and they just get a bunch of damage and a stacking dot. Um, so make sure your healers focus on them. And then if they hit, if the melee get hit, it lowers attack speed. So it's important that you have some ranged or healer soaking that damage so that melee don't get lower DPS. So in this phase, we're in our the uh, lightning phase, you get four um, lightning conductor pillars spawning around the room. So you can see we have the inner set near that inner circle and one large elemental ad. So the ad needs to be pulled by your tank on top of one of the pillars and killed there. And once it's killed, that will cause the pillar to be activated and basically become electrified. So then any players within about 10 yards of that pillar will cause electricity to stream out from them, hitting any other players within 10 yards of them. So as you can see, we're trying to form a human chain of electricity, going from the original activated pillar to any of the other four that are not activated. Uh, it's also important to note that you see here, we're actually going to the center after we do the first three. We were trying to do the achievement, but we did something wrong. We'll figure it out later. In any event, you're basically supposed to do this human chain, you know, holding hands type thing uh, between activated pillars and those that are not active at the time. Um, and once you activate all four of them, then the phase ends. And you can see there's a stacking uh, sort of nature dot that's going on throughout the phase. So uh, you want to end this as quickly as possible, ideally. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much the entire lightning phase. It's actually pretty simple. And, uh, yeah, so once that's over, then she just goes back into her normal phase and this process repeats. Um, and I believe her phase choice 
transition is completely random. So she'll go either the fro frost one or the lightning one. And there's really no way to determine. Um, in terms of difficulty, uh, I would say actually one tank healing with two healers for the focused assault was the hardest part. Um, we did have a tank death early on. And then, of course, I suck at dodging frost, but that's you know something you have to do your own self. Um, but other than that, it's not too much of a challenging fight. So just get used to the individual mechanics of the phases, and then you shouldn't have much trouble. And that was normal Hagara. So good luck, and thanks for watching.